Welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. All right, we're in the harder part of the game now. We've uh, we've started taking on these vicious dungeons. We've beaten all the hard ones at least once, and all we have left are vicious dungeons. Of the vicious dungeons, we've taken out two of them: Vicious Steel, which we actually have a quest to beat two more times, which I'm kind of terrified of because I barely beat it the first time, and uh, Demonic Library, which I actually think there are ways we could beat more than once. Uh, utilizing the ultimate cheese tactic that I found before but there's no quest to do so and we've already got the item you get from it in our locker so uh, you know it's not really necessary right now so what we've got is the Dragon Isles we've got Naga City we've got Namtar's Lair again I'm terrified of trying that and we've got Vicious Gauntlet um, I, I will be saving the Vicious Gauntlet for absolute last uh, so it's going to be Namtar's Lair again today. Ah, Namtar's Lair again. All right, select it. You know, I, I have said I would do it, and I will do it. I was kind of waiting to get the Amulet of Yindor and go Assassin Goblin before I tried it again, but that's not what I'm going to do. Let's just try Rogue. Let's try a high damage thing. Not high damage. No, 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 no. High health rogue against Namtar. Um, what would help with that? I'm going to go with these dwarven gauntlets just to start out. Anything that gives us more damage is going to be good. Elite items seems very like a good idea. Uh, maybe I shouldn't though. Maybe instead of elite items, I should go with not elite items because you know more chance of damage. I, I don't know. I'll go with elite items. Why not? be foolish um, compression seal as opposed to translocation seal because I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of items in my inventory towards the end I, no I'm gonna go with shop scroll and compression seal that seems like a more powerful actual combo at the moment to me black market uh, yes not magnet fire I'm gonna go with the extra attack boosters I will go with conjunction I don't know what I'm looking for as far as gods. Uh, Dracul, definitely a good option. Uh, Glowing Guardian might actually be surprisingly good as well. Let's see here. I want not the Mana Potion. That's not necessary. I will take Quicksilver, I will take Reflex, and I will take the Can. Uh, please take the Can. Yes. Alright. So there we go. What am I leaving off here? This is too short. Black Market, Extra Attack Booster, Perseverance Bet. Oh, I don't actually have the Dwarven Gauntlets in my... There we go. That brings us up to 201. Oh, I don't see this actually working out. Uh, I don't remember how I attacked him previously. I think I needed a lot of magic resistance. Ben Lore could provide that if he shows up. Lots of magic resistance might be an excellent thing. Uh, some way of getting a huge amount of health would be a good thing. The best I can do is the Dwarf and the Dwarven Gauntlets combination. That's 20 extra health, and then I think, uh, at level 10. And then, uh, being a Dwarf will provide a varying amount, depending on how much we convert. Alright, let's play. I don't think I'll win, but I'm gonna try to win. I like Namtar's Lair a lot, actually. It's one of the most fun dungeons to me. And uh, the fact that I don't know how deep this rabbit hole, go hole goes is just a good thing. All right, I'm immediately going to use this shop scroll because there's no reason not to. And check out what we've got here. Bloody Sigil. Uh, gives plus five hit points. That's big. The region thing, not as big. Minus ten damage, I don't like because I think that would actually take me down to seven. I might take that if I need it, but I'm not going to take it right now. Let's add one to our damage. Uh, yep, we can check out this shop. The spoon, yes, add, add more to our damage. Ten damage, very nice. Uh, we could kill that troll, that's for sure. Let's see here. This shop has, you know, normal stuff in it. We've got level ones going on. There's not going to be a whole lot of exploration on this map. Uh, more damage. All right, that modifier did not change anything. I stayed at 10, so it might be worth it to pick this up. It won't reduce my uh, my total damage. Fireball would be a nice pickup now. 
Uh, Haltmeh is also a good pickup, I think. It might get it where I can take uh, two hits. And we can see what my sub dungeon is going to be. Go. Oh, no, this is the Gates of the Underworld. Okay, fair enough. Uh, another plus 10% damage, which is fantastic. I'm up to 11 now. Uh, let's see, my base is 6 because of the spoon, but I'm getting a, a bonus of 90% already, which is fantastic. What's in this shop? Pendant of Health. Yes. That brings me up to 16. I'm glad I found that and did not purchase... Uh, I could actually get up to 21, couldn't I? I need to rec keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. All right. So, halt me. Yeah, I'll go over here. I'll pick it up. It might be an early conversion, but I'll pick it up. Uh, converting it will give me more health. And using it will allow me to regenerate health faster. So that, uh, you know, good options all around. What's this way? End is wall. Yes. Yes, yes. Please. Thank you. Come again. Uh, end is wall is fantastic for the road. And, uh, you know, as long as the I can find good enemies that do not... Uh, what, what am I going to say? As long as I find good enemies that don't do magic damage, this will help a lot. I might be able to take on higher level things. This guy, he does physical damage. Um, yeah, I, I'm real excited right now. So I'm going to go over here, get up to 60%. Actually, I should probably go there so I can explore around. Don't want to lock myself in. Uh, another shop, that's fantastic. What's in it? A fine sword. Yes, as soon as I have the money. Uh, I'm not going to use a translocation seal for the fine sword. Pick up that health potion, of course. And, uh, yeah, I need to continue my explorations. These guys won't be my way, thankfully. So, what's over here? Nothing. Uh, continue my explorations, then. I'm at 12. I'll go up here and uh, start pushing in that way. And then I'll come back down here. Exploring, exploring. Uh, okay. Level 3 Tower of Goo is in my way. Uh, not the best. I'm really looking for a level 2 enemy. How many times do I have to hit him? Way too many. I haven't found the fireball yet. Uh, okay, I'm going to go over here then. And just like this, continue exploring. Very nice. Alright, a level 2 enemy. Who does 13 damage, and I can survive that hit. For sure. Uh, how will I do this? I don't need any magic to kill him. That's good. It just means I can, as long as I get above 13 health, and I did just right there, and I lost it again thanks to this jerk. Fair enough. Get around him. 12 health. 16 health. All right. Now this guy can die happily. No problems. All right. Level two down. Uh, more to go, hopefully. These. Okay, these guys can be annoying. Uh, I'll use Enda's Wall to get where I can hit him multiple times, maybe. And we'll figure something out about killing him. I think an Enda's Wall right here will help me push him around properly. I'll go down here. How many hits can I get off on him? One, two right now. I might take full mana to beat him. Uh, we're going to see. If I can get up to three hits on him... He I will win the world. Uh, what I want to do here is just another Indus wall. And I'm going to go this way a bit. And I'm at 60 now. How many hits can I get off on him? Uh, and I need more than that. Fireball would be amazing right now. Halt me. Halt me, I should probably just get rid of, to be honest. Uh, but I don't need the health at the moment. I'm still level 1. Plate mail! No. That's horrifying. Uh, okay. So I think I might be able to do this. Not sure, but we're going to we're gonna find out. All right, he ran away. Um, as long as we are controlling the direction he runs away, that's fine. I'm going to reduce his damage. And I'm going to reduce his damage again. Right there. Uh, does that get me another hit? No, it doesn't. Uh, it's very unfortunate. Okay. Well, I'm going to hit him again. 
And what am I going to do from there? Be sad, I suppose. He can kill me now. Uh, like, do that. Dude, that wasn't cool. That was not cool at all. Uh, I don't want to kill a level 1 to level up. I want to kill a level 2 to level up. Those two experience points matter. Still, I've explored way too much for where I am. <sighs> Let me check out this shop. Uh, crystal ball. I wish I had more money right now. Actually, I, I did pick up some money. I can pick. I can buy this fine sword. So here's what I'll do. I'm gonna get rid of halt man. As valuable as it is. Oh, I don't have to get rid of halt man. What, what am I thinking? I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna shrink something. I'm gonna shrink my dwarven gauntlets because I'll be probably keeping those to the end game almost for certain, and then I will purchase the fine sword. Uh, yes. And go over here. Earth Mother is down here. No, eh, she's pretty good, actually. Just for gathering a whole bunch of piety for whatever other god I want to be worshipping. So, uh, a level 2 snake. Monoburn and Blinks. I don't like Blinks. If I can get my damage just a tiny bit higher, uh... It would be okay. But I can't. Not at the moment, so whatever. I'm still level one. That's that's a serious issue. Alright, now I can kill this guy. Alright. One hit. Two hit. And level up. Very nice. Alright, level two. Um I can kill you, you blink. Which is not the best, but I can kill you. If you blink somewhere I can see. You did not. Alright, that's a bit unfortunate. Looking for level 3s. How about you? I actually might be able to kill him. So I'm going to end his wall. I, I'll do that where? Here. Uh, and here. Very nice. And I'll do a little bit of exploring. Sidestep. Oh wow. Sidestep end his wall. This is going to take a lot of exploration to do the things that I can do with Sidestep in as well. But I can do amazing things. Uh, not necessarily a great idea to do what I'm about to do. But hey, I don't always have great ideas. So, I'm going to go there. I'm going to grab this Sidestep. Pick it up. Death protection. Okay, let me think. You're an easy kill now. Like an easy, easy kill. And you don't level me up. Is there a level 4 hanging out anywhere? This guy, also an easy, easy kill. Uh, please blink somewhere where I can hit you, is the thing. So, you know, it's, it's a gamble. But I don't lose too much from it, so... He went over there. He went right over there. Uh, okay. Dang it. I can't do it now. I have to heal some more. Because he life stole me. All right, I'm gonna keep trying to kill him though. Uh, all right, now I can kill him, and I dodged actually, which is fantastic. And I can hit him again, and I can kill him. Perfect. Two dodges in a row. That's pretty fantastic. Level three. Uh, level five enemies hanging out anywhere? I don't see any. My sidestep is still active, which is nice. My stone wall is also still active, which is nice. I should use my uh, my digging. I'll just go here, dig in, like that, and continue exploring. Can I take on a level 6 at level 3? No. I haven't even found... Uh, well, I can't take on... I could take on a level 6 at level 3. I can't take on the one I want to. Uh, a level 4 enemy. You know, that might be worth it, just to save the exploration. Uh... There's some more mana. I'll take it. I would love to find something more valuable going on. So I need to use Ender's Wall to get behind this guy. And I'll, I'll use it again, actually, just to get over on this side. There we go. So I can just beat this guy down, right? I think so. I don't think it'll be a big issue. Uh, another Indus wall would be welcome. So I'll do that here. And one, two, three. I can get one more hit off. 
it would be better. But looks like I'm going to... Oh, I dodged. Okay, never mind. All easiness. Dodged again. I have 1 million percent dodge chance, apparently. That's fine. Uh, Yep, he's safe. And I kill him. Easy peasy. All right. So looking for good enemies to fight. I'm going to go down here, up here, everywhere I can go. In search of easy targets, really. Uh, burn Duraz. That's nice. That's very nice. Um, need to pick it up. What will I get rid of to pick up Burn Duraz is the question. Ooh. So much good stuff. Maybe I should just leave it there. Fine Sword, I need to keep. Uh, these I'm keeping. Uh, there is... I don't want to get rid of Enda's Wall. But it might be the best option. Uh, Enda's Wall or, or Burn Duraz. What's doing more for me right now? I think Enda's Wall is actually doing more for me right now. It's providing exploration. Uh, I get rid of Sidestep, I suppose. But I don't want to. At all. There's a level 5 enemy that... I can't kill without Burn Duraz, so this is going to make the whole thing easier. Uh, I need to kill him, and with Burn Duraz, I can do it. So bye-bye, Enda's Wall. Answered that question, and my health goes up to 41, which is fantastic. Let's pick up Burn Duraz. I think a single burn can do this. Uh, yes. No. Yes. It's going to take the sidestep out of me. But one burn, and then I can kill him in two hits. One and two. Very nice. All right, killing two level higher things. Very good. Need to cast sidestep immediately. Get that going. Um, all right, what do I want to go after? A level six? This guy. Uh, he's got so much physical resistance and magical resistance, and he's so cowardly. Ah. Uh, I need more hits if I want to go after that guy. So I'm, I'm going to explore a bit. Grab up some things. Now the bad thing about getting rid of Ender's Wall is it was helping out my exploration quite a lot. Uh, quite a lot, quite a lot. So, you know, I'm not 100% on what I'm going to do with that anymore. This guy would be an easy kill with Ender's Wall. I, I regret my decision. Let me just say it. Okay, uh... Two fireballs. Two fireballs on this guy would do what? Not quite enough is the answer. And I need to keep all my resources. Even for a three level higher kill, it's not worth it at all. So, should I just explore? I think so. I think I should just explore. Look for a level five, look for a level six. You know, something will appear. There's a level five. He's an easy enough kill, unless he blinks. Uh, and I've got to hit him three times, so... Yeah, he's going to be a, a little bit of a problem if he blinks out of sight. But he didn't, which is wonderful. It's an easy win. Very, very good. And I can check out this shop, kind of guilt-free, since I'll be regenerating mana. Alchemist Scroll. Ooh! Ah! It's so tempting, but I don't want to use any potions whatsoever before the whole Namtar series of fights. So, it's not going to actually happen. A little depressed that it won't, but uh, hey. Uh, health potion. Excellent. Let's continue on. A level 5 dude here I can kill. He doesn't quite level me up, and I can't get behind him. It's the problem with not having it as well. Well, I can just hit him and knock him out of my way. Maybe I can work my way around him. Let me see. Excellent uh, bit of health. I would call it an excellent item, and it is, but it's also, in this case, just a bit of health. So, my cowardly friend, I believe I can just beat you into a wall pretty easily here. And I dodged, which makes this so much easier. I don't have to waste my uh, death protection. And win. Perfect. Well, you would be a very nice kill, my friend. I will not lie about that. Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? A level 8. It's a bit out of league. Uh, this level 7 is a tempting target, but a bit impossible. Dracul is here! That makes me feel good about some things. Some things. Uh, Dracul was the reason I did so well the second time I fought Namtar. Didn't win, of course, but he, he's the reason I did as well as I did, anyway. 
Anyway, I need to remember to kill all the undead before I worship him if I'm going to do so. Earth Mother can give me a huge amount of piety starting with Dracul as well. So I just need to remember that. What do I want to do here? This snake blinks. And he does 63 damage. Ooh, one conversion would put me over the top of that. Uh, 20 conversion points, though. Which I don't really have. Uh, just sitting around, unfortunately. So I can check out this shop. And uh, Pendant of Mana, not really what I'm going for. Glowing Guardian. Interesting proposition. I could go with Glowing Guardian for a while to build up piety. It would have been nice if I had found him earlier. He's one of those guys that you want to find early. Uh, Alright, there's Namtar. That's fine. Worship Glowing Guardian. That's who I'm going to go with for now. Because he's got, he's got some nice things. And hopefully I will be able to build him up. So, Worship. And, oh, it pops me straight up to 32, which is great. I can use Humility immediately to break myself down to level 3. Uh, that makes level 4's good kills. Something I've never used before is Absolution. It, you gain max HP when you use it. Uh, and you receive a Prayer Bead, uh, which gives 1 magic resistance. That's pretty good, considering Namtar's all about the magic attacks. Uh, evil can be redeemed. One enemy equal level or lower is removed from the game, granting plus four maximum health. It doesn't affect undead opponents or creatures on different dungeon levels. Add prayer bead to inventory. Let me think about this. Every time I do that, if I do that three times, it's like a level up worth of stuff. Eh, I can only use it twice, though, because my inventory is very full. I guess it's actually more valuable than a spoon. Uh, I've got 120% damage. That spoon's giving me two. Uh, should I use Absolution just to increase my max health? It would get rid of level threes. Uh, it's a, a, a random creature your level lower. It might get rid of level ones, which wouldn't be a big deal. I don't know. It's it's an idea. I think I'm gonna try it. So let's uh let's see. Let's hit Absolution, and my health goes up to 64 when I do that, yeah? And I can do it again, and my health will go up to 68. And I'll lose a couple of guys doing that. I don't know who I lost or what levels, but I, I, I hope Humility will get me the experience points back that I lost from that, kind of. So, level 3 me. I uh, can easily kill this level 5, assuming it doesn't blink out of existence. Uh, and that'll level me up pretty easily. Mana burn, not a big issue. I could go with Burnderaz on him, but that would require more hits and more chance of him blinking out of location. And he didn't, which is fine, and I level up now. I'm level four. I've got, uh, you know, those eight extra health might be a huge thing. Two magic resistance, not a huge deal, but eight extra health might be a big thing. Uh, got a little bit of uh, piety from my level up. That's good. And a little bit from being mana burned. Let's see here. This level 7 might be a good target now. He indeed is. Uh, as long as he doesn't blink out of existence, I can fireball him. And then I can hit him once. And again. And the mana burn doesn't really matter. Very nice. Okay, the mana burn does matter. I don't know why I said it, said it didn't. But a level f 6, not an easy kill. I need to find kind of an easier kill. A level 8 is not an easy kill. Let's explore a bit. That level 6 right there might be an okay kill. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely should have thought before I allowed myself to be mana burned. So, I'm going to get my full health back at least. And I might just want to level myself up off weaklings or something. Well, no, I can kill this guy right now. Um, and I get a fair amount from him. What about this guy? Is it the same deal? No, he's got all that resistance. This guy has too many hits. Anyone? Is this my best target? He, I think he is. So it's going to get rid of my death protection, but I'll just get another one. Uh, hit and win. 
Perfect, I'll be level 5. Gets me a good amount of piety as well. Uh, and I can cast Sidestep here. Alright. Now level 5 me. Can I take a hit from him? No, he does 112 damage. What am I thinking, right? Maybe a level 6 or something. I'll be able to think about it. Uh, probably not, though. A conversion. I could convert Sidestep and probably be able to hit him, but that might be an even worse idea. Uh, how many death protections can I use on him, after all? All right, you, I can kill. You mana burn me, but I can kill you. So I need to keep that in mind. You, I can probably kill now. Uh, yes, with fireballs, it should be possible. As long as I can keep you running in the right directions. So you're probably my best target. Uh, how do I want to do this? I'll, I'll take the two hits I can take. And... Hmm... You're going to be running in directions I don't like, but hey, it happens. Uh, go here, and I'll hit you again. I dodged, so that makes everything easier. I'm going to go here, hit you again, and I dodged again, which is perfect. You're just an easy kill now. Okay, so this snake will level me up quite easily, and I should take that mono burn just for the extra piety it's going to get me from Glowing Guardian. Uh, let me think here. What do I want to do specifically? Uh, how many... Okay, you do 78 damage, so I need to be above 78 health, and I think I also need a fireball ready. So there's 79 health. One fireball and two hits will be fine. Alright, fireball. There we go. Where'd he go? Alright, there he is. I'll hit him, and then I can kill him. Please don't blink out of existence, my friend. Uh, mana burns, but I think it just takes me to one. Please don't get rid of my death protection. Okay, it didn't. And he's right there, and I can kill him. For the level up. Very nice. I'm at 107 health, which is not 108 health. Uh, 112 health, unfortunately. So I need either a conversion... Which would do it, or one more level up before I start fighting Namtar. Uh, which one do I want to go for, the conversion or the level up? Probably the conversion. What's in the shops here? Pendant of Mana would actually do it. But here's the thing, I'd have to clear out part of my inventory. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's not good. That's certainly not something I want to do. This would lose me some health if I converted it. Sidestep I want to keep because it's going to be so valuable forever. Reflex potion, quicksilver potion, health potion. You. Minus 10% damage uh, for an earlier attack on our friend here. I don't know if that's worth it. Minus 10% damage. I'm doing 120% right now. 110% is not that much lower. Uh... But later, I'll, I'll have that base damage pretty high. Um, or I could just kill this guy, maybe. Or this guy, maybe. And it would be much, much simpler for me. I think I want to go after Namtar now-ish. Uh, this guy I could kill. I would get rid of my death protection, but it would work. Uh, I don't want to go after any popcorn yet, really. Ah, uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I can kill this guy, this level 9, and I'm level 6. That's typically a deal that's worth it. And I'm going to do it. So I'm going to fireball him twice. And even though it's going to cost me this sidestep, I am going to win this fight. Very good. And I'm going to heal myself back up. And yes, I might still... Uh, convert something. I might find a glyph that I don't need. I might uh, might do a lot of things. There's a lot of exploration I can't see right now. Oh, I level 3 of annoying. That's nice. I'm just going to kill him to get him out of my way. And there's a shop. Okay. That was an excellent idea. Troll heart. Ooh. That would be several more health. Uh, no. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to kill this guy because he's in my way. And I don't have a weight what or anything. And I need to explore. Jeez. 
You guys are not being friendly. Uh, this guy mana burns, but I can kill him and he's higher level than me. This guy blinks, and I can kill him and he's higher level than me. So let's go over here. Oh, there's a staircase down. That's excellent. Uh, I can also cast sidestep now. So let's look at you. Uh, you do 78 damage. I need to be above 78. I'm going to go ahead and check this downstairs out. What What's going on here? Um, talk. I've been to here before. Hail and well met. I'm Brandon with three ends. That's in for extreme. Yeah, extreme. I'm leader of the Venus Patrol, the single most badass mercenary crew this side of the kingdom. We hail from the time when men were men and party-based RPGs were still awesome. Unfortunately, our mobile altar seems to be on the fritz again, and we don't want to tackle this area without divine support. Uh, not yet. I remember doing something similar to this. Uh, before. But it got me an altar. It, it's what got me Binlore, I think? I don't know for sure. Maybe the Crusader? I don't know. Uh, what I do know is that I want to kill this snake. And I can kill this snake. Very, very easily. So I will. I don't need any mana to do it, and he almost levels me up. So hit and kill. And I, I do like the fact that Ben Lore is all like, Hey, you're an awesome dude. For killing that dude. Okay, for getting mana burned, actually, is why he's all like, I'm awesome. Uh, what's the highest level thing I can easily murder right now? Probably just this level 3, to be honest. Uh, yeah, level 6 is out of my league. Oh, well, there's a level 4. I can kill that. Alright, let's kill it. Level up. Ben Lore's all kinds of happy. I'm over 50 as well, so I'll be able to switch to Dracul. Or perhaps someone else as necessary. I'm, I'm seeing a thing where I might be able to get myself some serious magic resistance from Ben Lore here. Worship. How much does this stuff cost? Like 15, 25, 40. Stoneheart costs 10. Uh, this this is, might be the most cost-effective one since you can just repeat it over and over again. 40 for 5% is not the best. Uh, achieving stone form might just be a good thing for me. Uh, and it's 5 magic resistance. I don't know. All right, I'm going to go to... I have to decide if I want to go Dracul or Earth Mother. Earth Mother would allow me to get a lot of Bin Lore stuff done, and Dracul would allow me to have all these blood spatters. They're both pretty good. I don't know. We're gonna see. I don't I don't think I want to end with Bin Lore. Uh so that might be how I should think of it. So let's do that right there. I'm level seven now, which means it's definitely time I should be taking on this dude. Uh, I should also have a death protection prepared. I do. That's good. I need to get to where I am almost leveled up. So, this guy needs to die. Hopefully I'll get a dodge, but if I don't, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, he's my highest level enemy. And I can kill him pretty easily, I think. So, let's do that. Did not dodge. I will get a fireball. And please dodge. Did not happen. I'll win, though. It's fine. I'm not too upset that I didn't dodge. I also killed an undead, which kind of makes me happy. On the inside, uh, this guy's going to be my next target. But I've lost my death protection, so I've got to heal up and get another one. There might not be any place to heal up, which will be unfortunate. Uh, a little bit of mana potion in my life. Uh, yeah, there's some space behind him. Uh, I am running out of exploration quickly. Bin Lore might be able to provide me for more, with more exploration if I went to him by giving me that piss orf glyph. I got rid of Inda's wall, as we all know right now. All right, Alchemist Scroll, not going to happen. Uh, Bloody Sigil, not going to happen. What, what else we got going on here? Crystal Ball, possible. Plate Mail, not going to happen. Uh, Pendant of Mana, possible. All right, I, I'm just looking at my possibilities for the future. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to kill this guy, get the extra exploration. Actually, I don't need the extra exploration. I can just cast Sidestep now, which is what I need to do. Uh, 
because I needed the sidestep. And now I need exploration. So I'll go here, which is good. Can I take a hit from you yet? Yes, I can. And you you have life steal. I need the mana to cast one more fireball than I have. Very good. Okay, you blink, which is not the best, but there's nowhere for you to blink to. So I'm going to do that. And you went away. Where'd you go? I do not see him anywhere. I don't see where he went. That's unfortunate. Oh, he went right behind me. Okay. And now I can just kill this dude. One. Where'd he go? Dude, I am not following this blinking very well. Okay. And I dodged, which is fantastic. It'll save me some exploration in the future. Very nice. I'm at 27 of 40. Uh, yeah, we're good. I'm not going to kill this level 8. Mm, well, I guess I would get unstoppable if I did. Because I've killed everything else of high level. I think it's time for me to start going after Namtar. It is time. He's poisonous. He causes mana burn. Uh, he's got magic resistance. And he's got a magical attack. None of those things make me happy. But, uh, yeah, it's time. So, let's kill some stuff to get close to leveling up. Because that's what we do. Alchemist Scroll is still there. Uh, I can win this fight as well. I can win this very, very easily. And another win. I'm trying to get myself close to level 8 without going over. This is 39 right here. Which is as close as you can get. Alright. I'll get one fireball. And uh, several hits. Uh... That works. I'm not going to get more than that. I don't know what exploration is down there, but I'm not going to get more than that. So, fireball. Uh, it's like the least damaging thing ever, but whatever. I can get one hit. Like this. Be mana burned and poisoned and really sad as a result. Uh, but Binlor, I mean, uh, Glowing Guardian really likes it. And I'll kill this guy because he's undead and Glowing Guardian will like that as well. Very nice. Okay. How to do this. Um, I should have used sidestep actually before. So I can kill this guy. Uh, I need to get the fireballs off. Yes and yes. Is that enough? Yes, that's perfect. Alright, I can kill this guy without uh, too much trouble now. So hit, uh, death protection use, and another hit will make him very, very dead. And that's nice. Alright, so one hit. And I dodged, which is nice, so I won't waste my death protection here. I'll hit him again. I did not get lucky the second time, but I can win the fight right now. Very nice. You deal the killing blow, crumples in a heap, I've won. It's not honestly that easy. Of course not. So what are you? You are Weakening Blow Corrosive Curse Bearer guy. You are a pain in the butt to kill. Uh, but you no longer have your magic resistance, which is good. And if I can level up again, that would be fantastic. Don't know that that's going to be happening, though. Uh, weakening Blow Corrosive Curse Bearer. That's a problem. Alright, it's time to switch to either Dracul or Earth Mother. I need to decide which one. Uh, he's still got magic attack, so Binlor's Binlorness might be awesome here. Earth Mother, what abilities does she give besides just giving me ultimate all piety? Gain max HP and damage reduction. Yes. Alright, so I'm going to be converting to her. I have to stay above 50 health. How much damage does he do? 112. Can I get worship above 112? with this. No. I also don't have any place for a prayer bead anyway, so I'm just going to leave and go worship Earth Mother. Uh, extra health will be amazing. So I'm going to convert to her and I'll use what? I will use green blood, removes curse, entanglement slows non-plant enemies, uh, and vine form exists in this world. So I'm going to use vine form until I have only five left, and then I'll use plantation. Uh, because that's amazing. So damage reduction. 
Yes, please. 11. 14 from 19 will leave me with 5. Right? Am I doing that math right? I better be. Uh, yes, 5. And then I can use plantation. Right? And that's a plus 120. So that's a whole bunch. So I'm going to leave now. Uh, I can still get to Namtar, which is excellent. My health is 149, which is good. That's what it should be. Now, healing is something I don't have. Crystal Ball is amazing. Health would be nice. Worship. Uh, what else can I, should I be using here? Should I switch to another god now? Should I switch to Dracul now? Uh, one, I can't even reach him. But... Uh, it might be a good idea to switch to Dracul right now. Just because I, I have to kill this guy, don't I? Yes, just go away, man. You're not useful to anyone. Um, because Dracul could give me the health back. Uh, so many options. I can still only get one hit on this guy. Uh, it could be a very damaging hit, though. It's 110 damage. I could use these potions to make it very, very a lot. Um, I think I'm going to want to use Earth Mother, though. Worship. And Clearance. And what does this do? One mana per plant. So every time I use Clearance, I'll be able to use Fireballs on him. That might be a good thing. Uh, yes, that might be a very good thing. So let's use Clearance. And see if I can kill Namtar with fireballs. Or close to kill Namtar with fireballs. Alright, one. And we're going to go back up here. Worship. Clearance. So it does cost an additional five every time. But that's fine. Fireball. Yes. Okay. It's going to be slow going doing this. I can already tell. Uh, but I've got a lot of uses of it. And this might be huge. So worship Earth Mother. Clearance again. Make sure there's enough plants for that. There are. There definitely are. I can spawn more if I need to. But uh, clearance. Yes. And we should be running short on plants now. Yeah, pretty short. So, fireball again. And Namtar was taken down a lot by fireballs. Now I just need one, two, three, one more fireball and a few extra hits. Wow. Uh, I can't get another fireball easily. I, I could use clearance again to give me another fireball. Or I could grab a pendant of mana maybe, or crystal ball would do it. I don't want to convert anything though. Sidestep I like. Pendant of Health, I'm nearing the point where I should convert it. Because it's only providing me two health now versus the conversion. So my health is going to go down a little bit, but not much. Yeah, only by two. And it now frees up a space for Crystal Ball. Which, uh, which will give me another Fireball. Without spending anything but gold. There we go. It actually gives me two more Fireballs. So 306, uh, I can kill him now. I really can. Uh, I should see if I can do it naturally. No, I'm gonna use these potions here. Uh, Quicksilver potion plus reflex potion. And I will dodge, which is fantastic. Okay, dodge and I can win, but I'll be cursed and I'll have one level of weakening, one level of corrosion. He has 76 health. I could bring it down to 44. It's not worth it. I'll take the one level of weakening and the one level of corrosion. And there's a dead Namtar. You kill Namtar before a second time, but his corpse begins twitching again immediately. Brute force doesn't seem to be working. You need to take his body away and find a, day with deal, a way to deal with it now. Okay. Uh, what am I going to do here? I'm going to take that. I'm probably going to get rid of Crystal Ball. It was just there for what I just used it for. Um, what am I going to do? I can get very close to leveling up. Is something I should do. Uh, not against that guy. Not against that guy. Kill that. 
Uh, kill all the undead, basically. Uh, win. And I win. Because I still might switch to Dracul, interestingly enough. Uh, not for the blood pools. What would Dracul be able to offer me? Not a lot. Not a lot, a lot. Um, I, I should finish off my exploration, I suppose. Uh, I'm poisoned, so that was kind of a waste. Uh, can, how close can I get? I can't get very close, can I? Uh, it's not worth a death protection. Is it? It might be. 37. It might be worth one health potion to get close enough to leveling up. But this guy would not level me up, and he would put me at one away from it. <sighs> if I could get enough health to survive one hit from him, which is just 31 health. Let me think here. Do I need the piety that I have is a question. Well, yes, I do. I'm, I'm going to be using it to worship Earth Mother here and get vine form and as much damage reduction as possible. Uh, so I'm going to leave. I'm going to hit him, sacrifice a death protection to be right on the verge of leveling up. That's worth it, I think. Yes, I am going to do that. So, yeah, okay, so hit, death protection gone, dead troll, right on the verge of leveling up for the next fight. I did that last time, and it worked out real well for me. Okay, crystal ball, you are just conversion for me, conversion fodder. Everything has been explored. All right, Earth Mother, I'm going to worship you, and what can you offer me? Uh, I should have used entanglement. That would have gotten me closer more easily. Uh, I can use this multiple times. I don't need to corrode enemies. I don't have a curse on me. Uh, plantation clearance doesn't really matter. We're going to use vine form. Yeah, all the vine form that we can. 23, there we go. So, 159 health and 7 damage reduction. Going in, down to the next level with Namtar. Uh, I have to pick him up. Which is not the best. And. Well, shoot. I wish I could fully heal before I went down as well. Uh, one health potion is going to happen, isn't it? I should not have wasted my death protection because I need the health potion uh, just to get rid of poison. I didn't think about that. Anything in any of these shops worth more than what I've got? Plate mail or troll heart? None of that's worth it. So I'm going to be going downstairs. I I will see you guys on the other side. Go. Beware, hero, once you set foot in the underscore. No more god boons. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go. Okay, I have to use a health potion here. It's depressing, but I have to do it. Because otherwise I cannot heal up when I do this. The corpse seems to evaporate in your hands, and Namtar reforms in front of you. His eyes widen. I'll not let you take me down here. Down there, I won't go back to that. Now, this is the guy that stopped me last time, because he's got 75% physical resist. That's a pain. But I've got my own types of damage reduction now. I'm also on the very verge of leveling up. Uh, I think it's worth it, because I'm not going to... Oh, I've got Mono Burn on me. All right, so fair enough. This guy will level me. Uh, how many hits can I get off on you? Three. Three is amazing. Um, so I'm going to be using this on this version because probably necessary. I'm also going to be using a fireball on this guy. He's got fast regen. He's just going to be a pain. All right, so I'm going to hit him once, taking him down quite soon. Ooh, I dodged. That's excellent. I will fireball him once as well. It's going much better than last time, anyway. I get it. Oh, I dodge again. That's that's awesome. All right. So another hit and another dodge. Uh, this guy's just gonna go down easy. All right, and I will get my level up because no reason to waste any resources now. Uh, yeah, I can just kill this dude. That went way better than it should have. Fireball for the win. The blazing heat of this place is sapping your strength at an alarming rate. This is the farthest I've gotten. It's reducing my hit points, my mana, and my damage. Not significantly, though. Look at my hit points. 163. 
All right, I'm going to pick this back up, I guess, uh, the Corpse of Nantar. I remember there was another staircase up here. This is as far as I've gotten. This is it. Uh, I'll kill these guys on the way because there's no reason not to. I might be able to win here with all this damage reduction I've got, uh, all this health I've got. You know, I've got sidestep I should be seriously using. Oh, I've already got it cast. I've got a death protection still. Okay, excellent. Um, let's go downstairs. Passage, go. I'm level 9. Alright, so... I should just kill that before I move up. And what do we got here? Namtar revives once more, but the hellish environment seems to be taking a greater toll on him than you. His eyes are sunken, his skin is pale, and his life is clearly not returning to him in the way it did before. Stop this. Stop this now. I'll kill you. Uh, okay, he's cowardly. He has retaliate fireball. He berserks at 50%, and he's undead. He's cowardly, so I need to go around him to push him back that way. I can kill this guy in one hit, so I should do so. I only have to hit him three times, and I so can. All right, I can kill this, and I dodged. That's fantastic. Okay, win. Maddening voices scream in your head, demanding that you give up and die. Minus 10 hit points again. Minus 2 max mana again. I still can do a fireball. Minus 5 damage, and my resistances are wiped. But my damage reduction is not wiped. Okay. Uh, I don't have enough mana to cast my death protection again, but I didn't lose it. So that's good. Namtar cannot be converted. Pick up. Alright. This, uh, this is seeming like it's going well for me. Like, there's probably some evil final form, like Avatar or something. Ugh, God, that was a horrible fight. But uh, I don't know that yet. So let's go down here for another fight against him. All right. I can win this fight. It brings me one away from another level up. No, not the pit. You will not take me back there. I will never go back. What am I dealing with? He's got three death protections. That's a pain. All right. He's cowardly. Again, he's got magical attack. He berserks at 75%. He doesn't do any damage, really. Uh... This is awesome. I can kill this dude. Uh, his cowardly nature makes me want to do this. I'm going to go up here before I fight him. Yes, this level 7 will die in one hit. So, if anything happens, I can just in case level up. But nothing's going to happen. I can just kill this guy. 1, 2, and start taking on death protections. Alright. Uh, that would take my death protection, so I don't want to do that. Level up. And safe hit. Um, fireball would do another one. That seems like an obvious idea. And I can just win. Yes, die, Namtar. How many forms do you have? Your vision goes blurry. I'm losing more. You feel like it's boiling. Okay, so my mana is down to three max. I got a fireball still because it's over max, but I got a bunch of corrosion on me and a bunch of weakness on me. All right. It's not going. Like, this is weakening me, but it. He is getting rocked, basically. I've still got a death protection. This is going real, real well. Uh, can I kill this guy in one hit? No, it's not worth losing any life over. Uh, oh, okay, it's seven is my max. Yeah, it's not... Well, I can regenerate the life, can't I? So, a fireball. And then I can kill this guy. Very nice. All right, I'm going to do this and this and this to get my stuff back. I don't know what's down here. Okay, this is different. Maybe it's like the final form. I'm scared. Uh, stop. Please, don't. Please, I'll give you anything. He's going to be super easy. He's going to be super easy. Okay. Uh, he only does one damage. Okay. Hit. Win. With the last of your strength, you strike down Nantar's pathetic husk and allow his near lifeless body to fall into the endless void of the pit. It's finally over. You have won. What's, what's here? Nantar's ward. What is this? A prized possession of Nantar, the beast of the pit. Player starts the dungeon with death protection and can use the ward to gain additional death protection once per level. Yeah? Holy crap, really? Let me see how that works. So every time you level up, you can get a death protection with Namtar's War. That is huge. That's like starting with sidestep, but not wasting mana on it. That's, uh, that's something I want to be using. 
Uh, anything else up here? Just a bunch of lava. We are in the pit, and we're leaving the pit. Exit. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. My ding maxed, which killing like a whole bunch of level 10s would do that. I also got cheeky. Didn't get anything else special. I'm going to exit here. Victory in Namtar's lair as a dwarven rogue. I did not expect that to turn into victory. I expected another fail failure at Namtar, but we're on a roll now. We've beaten the last three Vicious Dungeons we've attempted. Uh, we've been beating Hard Dungeons as well. I'm stretching. I'm happy. Uh, Namtar's Ward definitely better than Alchemist Scroll. So I'm going to put that right there. Yes. Discard that Alchemist Scroll. Namtar's Ward. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'm excited, guys. We've got officially one, two three dungeons left. They're going to be hard? Yes. But uh, I I'm feeling good right now. Alright guys, thanks for watching.